Well, guys, let's look at this problem. Here again, eight people are there. A, B, C, D, P, Q, R, S. They are all sitting in a straight line, all facing north, same direction. That is good. Each number of each one of them has a different age. There are different ages even 14, 16, 17, 18, 21, 23, 26, 31. Not necessarily in the same order, of course. Right. So here it is kind of seating arrangement. B sits at all of the extreme ends of the rows. Ends of the row. There are three persons sitting between C and Q. Q is neither 14 nor 19, etc. 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 Let's go. Let's try to solve this equation. Let's try to pick the conditions which are suitable for us. Which is which ones with things we can start. So B sits at one of the extreme ends, either left one or right one. B is sitting. Right. Now there are three persons sitting between C and Q. Let's start with this one. Three persons sitting between C and Q. C. One, two, three, and Q. This is one way. Or C. One, two, three, Q. Both both ways it is possible, right? Because uh, here we didn't. It was not told whether C is Q is on the right side or the left side of the left side of C. And B is B sits on of the extremes, right? B can be either this extreme or this extreme in both of these cases. Okay, let's go further. Then the two persons sitting between D and the person who is age 23, neither Q nor D is the oldest person. Age difference of immediate neighbors of D is 5. A sits to the right of R, but not immediate right. There are three persons sitting between B and someone and the one who is age is 16 years. The one whose age is 19 sits third to the right of C. Okay, we have got one more clue with respect to C. Let's use this. In the first case, third to the right of C is 19. At 1, 2, 3, this case should become 19. In the first case. In the second case, 1, 2, 3, this case will become 19. Right. If this be, this k becomes 19, then 8 slots are done, right? 8 slots are done here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Because Q and C, there should be 3 people. And the third gear from C is 19. 8 slots are done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But, so far, what, we, what are the conditions that we have used? We have used, by the way, the condition number 3. We started with condition number 3. This gives C and Q, but the order we don't know. Then we did with condition number 10 for the to place the 19 is person, right? In the second place, C, in the second case, uh, 8 slots are already done. In the first place, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 slots are done. Now, in this second case, let's look at the, let's look at this condition number 10 and 2, 12. Right? B sits at one of the extreme ends of the row, right? In this case, Okay, in this case, B B has to be this only. Right, because this Q is already taken, B has to be this. Right. And let's look at condition number 11 also. 11 also here. 2, 10 and 11 together. Okay. In this case, R sits to the right of B. That means R should be somewhere here. But the slots are already full. Right. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 plus 4, 8 is already full. So, and R has to sit somewhere, right? And earlier we had discussed, uh, B sits at one of the extreme ends, either left end or right end, right? And uh, R and R is sitting right to the of B, that means B has to be the left end. But here left end is already closed because they can't put anything else because all 8 are already done. Understood, right? Because if 19 guy is sitting third to the right of C, that means you have closed four slots here. And between C and Q to this side, there are again uh, three people there. So we choose, we had defined the two possibilities of C and Q. Either Q can sit to the right of C or Q can sit to the left of C. If Q is sitting to the left of C with three slots in between, and if this 19 guy has to sit right of, right of C, then B doesn't have a place. Right, because B, B cannot be on the right extreme because according to rule number 11, there is some R according to rule number 11 and 2. There is some R which is to the right of B. That means B has to be on the left end. In this case, B has to be on at the place of Q, but Q is already taken. So, B cannot be here. The second diagram is wrong. 
second diagram is wrong. This diagram is wrong. We can eliminate. So we can directly continue with the first diagram only. Right. So we have used 10, 12, and uh, 10, 2, and 9. So this condition or is to this to eliminate to eliminate uh, the second diagram. Right. We have used this condition. 10th condition, we have used B sitting at the extreme end condition and we used R sitting to the right of B condition to eliminate the second diagram. Right, then Q sits, R sits to the right of B, Q sits second to the right of the person whose age is 23. Q sits second to the right of the person. So we got one more hint around Q. Right, so we, because there is only one diagram, we can directly use this. We will use condition number 12 to position some 23. Right, Q is sitting, condition number 12, second to the right of person who is A is 23. That means this guy is 23. Q is 1, 2. Q is second, sitting second to the right. Next. Next, let's look at the conditions again. P sits immediate left of the person whose age is 14. Okay, we don't know who is 14. Where is P? Q is not the youngest person. The one whose age is 31 is not an immediate neighbor of the youngest person. C is not the fourth oldest person. This is all uh, that is given. Now, let's read something about B. There are three persons sitting between B and the one whose age is 16 years. Right. So, B is the left extreme end that we have figured out. Right. B is the left extreme end. As per 2, as per condition number 2 and condition number 10, 11, as per 11 and 2, we have already discussed that B is the leftmost. Leftmost has to be, how many slots are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, right. So, there are maximum 3 slots available. Right. B can be here. If B can be here, then 2 more slots will come here. If B is here, then no. B is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One more slot can be here. B can at max be here. Because, because even if you take all the three slots to this left side, there will still be at max three slots only. We don't know whether two slots on this side or one slot on this side. Or one slot on this side and two slots on this side. But definitely there has to be at least one slot here. Because B has to sit on the extreme left. And there has to be one slot. But we don't know whether there are two slots or there are three slots right so these slots are fixed c c to q is anyway fixed so the remaining three slots whether we put on all the three on the left or one on left or two on left that we are still to decide right now let's assume when which slot we can fit as per this condition condition number nine let's look at condition number nine condition number nine as per this condition, there are three persons sitting between B and the one whose age is 16. Let's assume B, B has to be anywhere somewhere between, uh, left of C, right? Let's assume if this is B. Yeah. This is B. Then 1, 2, 3, this guy has to be 16. Right. And the one whose age is 16. Because if B has to be left only, right? There is no way the guy 16 should be towards the left of B because B is the extreme end. If this guy is B, this is B, then this guy has to be 16 and this guy cannot be 16. So it is 19, it is gone. So B cannot be this. Let's assume this is B. 1, 2, 3, this guy has to be 16, which is also not possible because this guy is already 23. What that means? B has to be this only. B has to be the final one. This one. So that means all three slots are on this side only. There is no slot beyond, beyond Q. Right. Now, the... If as per condition number nine, B on the one, there are three persons, people sitting between B on the one who is a 16. That means obviously one, two, three, this guy is actually 16. So with condition number nine, we are able to figure out the B and the 16. Right. Now we have figured out where is 16, where is 23, where is 19 or not. There was one condition regarding D, right? There are two persons sitting between D and the person whose age is 23. So, right, two persons sitting. There is no more slot here, right? All eight are closed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All eight are closed. So, where is where can D sit? D cannot sit here because eight are closed. So, D has to sit one, two, D. This has to be D, right? So, condition number five. 
it has given where is condition number five gives us where is D, right? Because D has to sit two steps away from okay, away from 23rd. Right. Now let's look at other conditions which can be helped. Q is neither 14 nor 19. This is one condition that we have not used. And P sits immediate left of uh, the person whose age is 14. Q is not 14. P is sitting immediate left of 14. Right. So, so P has got two slots only. Right. P sits immediate left of the one whose age is, is, is 14. Right. P, what are the slots available for P? P slots available is this one, this one, this one, this one. There are only, slot, only four slots for P. Right. Four letters are already taken. Four more letters are there. P, this, 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 this. But P sits immediate to the left of 14. So this is gone. This is gone. So either this or this is available for P. Now, now Q is neither 14 nor 19. Q is not 14 or 19. But P is sitting to the left of person whose age is 14. So P is, this slot is also gone because Q is not 14. So that means P only has to be this and this guy has to be 14. Right? This guy has to be 14. D has to be 14 and P has to sit here. So, next. A sits to the right of. So, let's look at the other ones which we have, which were not used. A sits to the right of R but not immediately right. Where has A, A has got how many slots? One, two, three. All three slots. A has to sit to the right of R. So, that means this slot is gone first of all. It has to sit R to the right of R means you have to give one portion to R, but not immediately to the right of R, right? So that means this is also gone, right? Right, because if R sits here, if R sits here, then A has to sit here. There is no, there is no possibility. We are using as per the condition, condition number eight, condition number eight, which says A sits to the right of R, and but not immediate. What that means? If R sits here, there is no place for A. Right, and they cannot shift to the left of R, so that means only option is this is R and this is A. We have figured out where is R, where is A also. I think we have figured out all the letters A, B, C, D, P, Q, R, and that means this one is S. Now we have figured out all the letters. We have to figure out the ages. Right, let's look at, let's look at uh, let, let's look at the other places where uh, some clues about ages are given. Right. What are the clues? One is neither Q nor D is the oldest person. Right. Neither Q nor D is the oldest person. Uh, there are two persons sitting between D and the person who is 23 years. This is not the, not a Q. Uh, age difference of immediate neighbors of D is 5. Right. Age difference of immediate neighbors of D is 5. And one more thing. The one whose age is 31 is not immediate neighbor of the youngest person. She is not the fourth oldest person. Okay, let's use this. Age difference of immediate neighbors of D is 5. Let's use this condition number 7. Age difference of immediate neighbors of D is 5. What does that mean? What are all the ages? 14, 16, 17, 19, 21, 23, 26, 31. In, in, in all these cases, which all have the difference of 5? 14 and 19 is a possibility, right? Difference of 5. 16 and 21 is a possibility, right? 17, 22 should have been there, but 17, 22 is, is not there. So with 17, nothing is possible. With 19, anything is possible. 19, 14 only is possible, but we have already taken that. 19, uh, 24 is not there. 21, 26 is another possibility. Right, 6, 21, 16 we had already taken, 21, 26 is another possibility, and 26, 31 is another possibility. Right, 21, 26, 26, 31. These are the four possibilities of the ones we are talking about. Condition number seven is difference of immediate neighbors of D. The immediate neighbors of D can be 14, 19, 16, 21, 21, 26, 26, 31. Right, and this is one condition, all these four. Now let's look at this. If if D himself is 14, there cannot be 14 and 19, right? D himself is 14, so this, this option is gone. Right, 14 and 19 cannot sit next to 
next to day because D himself is 14 and there is only one person who has got the age of 14. Right. Similarly, this guy R is 16. So there cannot be another 16 besides D, right, sitting next to D because R is already taken. This has to be something else. So this is already gone. We are left with 21, 26 and 26, 31. This can be either 21, 26 or 26, 31 or whatever. 21, 26 or 26, 31. It could be any of this. Now let's look at condition number 15. 7 and condition number 15. Condition number 15, which is saying the one whose age is 31 is not an immediate neighbor of the youngest person. Who is the youngest person? The youngest person is 14, right? D is the youngest person. If you see, the youngest person is 14, right? The youngest person is D is 14. So next to D, 31 cannot sit. So P cannot be 31, C cannot be 31. So this option is also gone. So 21 and 26 only are left. Now, which is 21, which is 26, we don't know. Let's look at this condition again, condition number 15. C is not the fourth oldest person. Who is the fourth oldest person? 1, 2, 3, 4. Fourth oldest person is 21. C is not 21. That means C has to be 26 because 21 and 26 sit has to, they have to sit next to D. So C is not 21. That means C has to be 26. And P has to be, P has to be 21. All right. Now what is B and Q? The ages of B and Q, we don't know. Let's look at the other conditions. Neither Q, there is another condition which says neither Q nor D is the oldest person. That means Q is not oldest, Q is not 31. That means B has to be 31. What is Q? Whatever that is left, right? 17 is left. So Q has to be 17, right? So what, what is that uh, neither Q? We have used the condition number 6 here. So we use condition number 7 and 15 to arrive at P, C, 21, 26, the ages of this. We use condition number 8 to arrive at R and D, 16 and 19, right? We have used condition number 2 person sitting between D and the person. So we use this condition, right? We use condition number 13. Condition number 13 also we have used, right? P sits immediately to the left of one who is aged is 14. Condition number 13 also we have used. So 13 also we have used. 13 we used. 4 and 13. I think 13 and 4 we have used together. We did not mention it here. So 13 and 4 also we have used. 13 and 4 we have used together to derive. Where is P sitting? P sitting and D says is 14. Right. So that's how uh, that's how we have solved this equation. So ultimately, what it is happening? What is the structure? B, P, C, D, R, S, A, Q, 31, 21, 14, 26, 16, 23. 19, 17. Let's see if everything is getting solved or not. B sits at one of the extremes. That's very good. First is solved. There are three persons sitting between C and Q. C and Q. One. C and Q. Sorry, sorry. This is D. This is D. Right? B, P, D. This is C. Yes. Three persons between C and Q. This is also sorted. Right, condition number 3. What is condition number 4? Q is neither 14 nor 19. Yes, Q is neither 14 nor 19. There are two persons between between D and the person who is age 23. D and 23, there are two people. Yes, very good. Neither Q nor D is the oldest person. Yes, Q is not oldest. D is not oldest. D is oldest. Right. Age difference of immediate neighbors of D is 5. 21, 26 minus 21 is actually 5. A is to the right of R but not immediate right. A is to the right of R but not immediate right. There are three persons sitting between B and the one whose age is 16. B and 1, 2, 3, 16. Right? B and 16, there are three persons. The one whose age is 19 sits third to the right of C. 1, 2, 3, A is 19. He is sitting third to the right of C. R sits to the right of C. R sits to the right of B only. Q sits second to the right of the person whose age is 23. 23, 1, 2, B is Q. Right? P sits immediate left of person who is his 14. This is 14 and immediate left is B. Q is not the youngest person. Q is not the youngest person. 
this although we did not use this right this condition number uh, 13 and 4 we have used and uh, 13 and 14 we don't not use 13 and 4 we have excuse not the youngest person we did not even need this the one whose age is 31 is not an immediate neighbor of the youngest person the one whose age is 31 is 31 is not immediate neighbor of the English person, of course not. Immediate neighbor of the English person is 21 and 26, which is P and C, which are P and C. C is not the fourth oldest person. He is not. He is the third oldest. He is the second oldest person. Right. So, this thing is solved. Now, let's look at the questions. I think, let's look at the questions. What are all the questions? Who sits second to the right of D? Who sits, who sits second to the right of D? Second to the right of D is R. How many persons sit? How many persons sit? How many persons sit between the person whose age is 31 and S? 31 and S. How many people? 31 and S. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is the correct answer. Right. Who among the following persons? Who among the following persons is 26 years old? Right. Who among the 26 years old is C? C is 26. If P is related to 16 years, in the same way as B is related to 26, P and 16. There are two people in between. B and 26. Again, there are two people in between. How is R related? R two people in between. So, it should be Q on 13, 17. Right? This must be 17. What is the age difference of A's immediate numbers? A's immediate numbers is 27 minus 17. Right? 6 years. So, these are the answers. Right? This is this is a medium level difficulty problem where we have to use uh, multiple conditions together like 7 and 15, 13 and 4 and we have to assume uh, certain things like uh, how is the structure defined, how, what, should, what should be the seating arrangement, how many people to the left of C have to be there etc. And another uh, tricky thing is the ages of uh, the people around uh, D, right, 21, 26 or 14, 19, 16, 21 and all, uh, to understand th that calculation. So, this is slightly tricky, but it's not impossible. It is slightly of uh, medium level difficulty problem. Hope you understood this. If any doubts, please, uh, please message, please comment and we will pick them up.